Part 3 We have made some of these messengers to excel others. Among them are they to whom Allah spoke, and some of them he exalted by many degrees of rank. And we gave clear arguments to Jesus, son of Mary, and strengthened him with the Holy Spirit. And if Allah had pleased, those after them would not have fought one with another after clear arguments had come to them, but they disagreed, so some of them believed and some of them denied. And if Allah had pleased, they would have not fought one with another, but Allah does what he intends. O you who believe, spend out of what we have given you before the day comes in which there is no bargaining, nor friendship, nor intercession. And the disbelievers, they are the wrongdoers. Allah, there is no God but He, the ever-living, the self-subsisting, by whom all subsist. Slumber overtakes Him not nor sleep. To Him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. Who is He that can intercede with Him but by His permission? He knows what is before them and what is behind them and they encompass nothing of his knowledge except what he pleases. His knowledge extends over the heavens and the earth, and the preservation of them both tires him not, and he is the Most High, the Great. There is no compulsion in religion. The right way is indeed clearly distinct from error. So whoever disbelieves in the devil and believes in Allah, he indeed lays hold on the firmest handle which shall never break and Allah is hearing, knowing. Allah is the friend of those who believe. He brings them out of darkness into light, and those who disbelieve, their friends are the devils who take them out of light into darkness. They are the companions of the fire, therein they abide. Has thou not thought of him who disputed with Abraham about his Lord, because Allah had given him kingdom? When Abraham said, my Lord is he who gives life and causes to die. He said, I give life and cause death. Abraham said, Surely Allah causes the sun to rise from the east. So do, do thou make it rise from the west? Thus he who disbelieved was confounded, and Allah guides not the unjust people. Or like him who passed by a town, and it had fallen in upon its roofs, he said, when will Allah give it life after its death? So Allah caused him to die for a hundred years, then raised him. He said, How long hast thou tarried? He said, I have tarried a day or part of a day. He said, Nay, thou hast tarried a hundred years, but look at thy food and drink. Years have not passed over it, and look at thy ass. And that we may make thee a sign to men, and look at the bones, how we set them together, then clothe them with flesh. So when it became clear to him, he said, I know that Allah is possessor of power over all things. And when Abraham said, My Lord, show me how thou givest life to the dead, he said, Dost thou not believe? He said, Yes, but that my heart may be at ease. He said, Then take four birds, then tame them, to incline to thee, then place on every mountain a part of them, then call them, they will come to thee flying, and know that Allah is mighty, wise. The parable of those who spend their wealth in the way of Allah is as the parable of a grain growing seven ears, and every ear a hundred grain. And Allah multiplies further for whom he pleases, and Allah is ample given, knowing. Those who spend their wealth in the way of Allah then follow not up what they have spent with reproach or injury. Their reward is with their Lord, and they shall have no fear, nor shall they grieve. A kind word with forgiveness is better than charity followed by injury, and Allah is self-sufficient, forbearing. O you who believe, make not your charity worthless by reproach and injury, like him who spends his wealth to be seen of men and believes not in Allah in the last day. So his parable is as the parable of a smooth rock with earth upon it. Then heavy rain falls upon it, so it leaves it bare. 
they are not able to gain anything of that which they earn, and Allah guides not the disbelieving people. And the parable of those who spend their wealth to seek Allah's pleasure and for the strengthening of their souls is as a parable of a garden on elevated ground upon which heavy rain falls, so it brings forth its fruit twofold. But if heavy rain falls not on it, light rain suffices, and Allah is seer of what you do. Does one of you like to have a garden of palms and vines with streams flowing in it? He has therein all kinds of fruit, and old age has overtaken him, and he has weak offspring. When lo, a whirlwind with fire in it smites it, so it becomes blasted. Thus Allah makes the messages clear to you that you may reflect. O oh, you who believe, spend of the good things that you earn, and of that which we bring forth for you out of the earth and aim not at the bad to spend thereof, while you would not take it yourselves, unless you connive at it, and know that Allah is the self-sufficient praiseworthy. The devil threatens you with poverty and enjoins you to be niggardly, and Allah promised you forgiveness from himself and abundance, and Allah is ample given knowing. He grants wisdom to whom he pleases, and whoever is granted wisdom, he indeed is given a great good, and none mind but men of understanding. And whatever alms you give, or whatever vow you vow, Allah surely knows it, and the wrongdoers shall have no helpers. If you manifest charity, how excellent it is, and if you hide it and give it to the poor, it is good for you, and it will do away with some of your evil deeds, and Allah is aware of what you do. Their guidance is not thy duty, but Allah guides whom he pleases, and whatever good thing you spend, it is to your good. And if you spend not but to seek Allah's pleasure, and whatever good thing you spend, it will be paid back to you in full, and you will not be wronged. Charity is for the poor who are confined in the way of Allah. They cannot go about in the land. The ignorant man thinks them to be rich on account of their abstaining from begging. Thou canst recognize them by their mark. They beg not of men inopportunately, and whatever good thing you spend, surely Allah is nor of it. Those who spend their wealth by night and day, privately and publicly, their reward is with their Lord, and they have no fear, nor shall they grieve. Those who swallow usury cannot arise except as he arises whom the devil prostrates by his touch. That is because they say trading is only like usury, and Allah has allowed trading and forbidden usury. To whomsoever then the ad admonition has come from his Lord, and he desists, he shall have what has already passed, and his affair is in the hands of Allah, and whoever returns to it, these are the companions of the fire, therein they will abide. Allah will blot out usury, and he causes charity to prosper, and Allah loves not any ungrateful sinner. Those who believe and do good deeds and keep up prayer and pay the poor rate, their reward is with their Lord, and they have no fear, nor shall they grieve. O you who believe, keep your duty to Allah and relinquish what remains due from usury if you are believers. But if you do it not, then be apprised of war from Allah and his messenger. And if you repent, then you shall have your capital. Wrong not, and you shall not be wronged. And if the debtor is in straightness, let there be postponement until he is in ease, and that you remit it as alms is better for you if you only knew. And guard yourselves against the day in which you will be returned to Allah then every soul will be paid in full what it has earned, and they will not be wronged. O oh, you who believe, when you contract a debt for a fixed time, write it down, and let a scribe write it down between you with fairness, nor should the scribe refuse to write as Allah has taught him. So let him write, and let him who owes the debt dictate, and he should observe his duty to Allah, his Lord, and not diminish anything from it. But if he who owes the debt is unsound in understanding or weak, or if he is not able to dictate himself, let his guardian dictate with fairness, and call to witness from among your men two witnesses, 
But if there are not two men, then one man and two women from among those whom you choose to be witnesses. So that if one of the two errs, the one may remind the other, and the witnesses must not refuse when they are summoned. And be not averse to writing it, whether it is small or large, along with the time of his falling due. This is more equitable in the sight of Allah, and makes testimony surer and the best way to keep away from doubts. But when it is ready merchandise, which you give and take among yourselves from hand to hand, there is no blame on you in not writing it down. And have witnesses when you sell one to another, and let no harm be done to the scribe, or to the witnesses, and if you do it, then surely it is a transgression on your part, and keep your duty to Allah, and Allah teaches you, and Allah is knower of all things. And if you are on a journey, and you cannot find a scribe, a security may be taken into possession, but if one of you trust another, then he who is trusted should deliver his trust, and let him keep his duty to Allah, his Lord, and conceal not testimony. And whoever conceals it, his heart is surely sinful, and Allah is knower of what you do. To Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. And whether you manifest what is in your minds or hide it, Allah will call you to account according to it. So he forgives whom he pleases and chastises whom he pleases. And Allah is possessor of power over all things. The messenger believes in what has been revealed to him from his Lord, and so do the believers. They all believe in Allah and his angels and his books and his messenger. We make no difference between any of his messengers. And they say, We hear and obey our Lord. Thy forgiveness do we crave, and to thee is the eventual course. Allah imposes not on any soul a duty beyond its scope. For it is that which it earns of good, and against it that which it works of evil. Our Lord, punish us not if we forget or make a mistake. Our Lord, do not lay on us a burden as thou didst lay on those before us. Our Lord, impose not on us afflictions which we have not the strength to bear. And pardon us, and grant us protection, and have mercy on us. Thou art our patron, so grant us victory over the disbelieving people. Surah 3, The Family of Amran In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, I, Allah, am the best knower. Allah, there is no God but He, the ever-living, the self-subsisting, by whom all subsist. He has revealed to thee the book with truth, verifying that which is before it, and He revealed the Torah and the Gospel, or for a time a guidance for the people, and He sent the discrimination. Those who disbelieve in the messages of Allah for them is a severe chastisement and Allah is mighty the Lord of retribution surely nothing in the earth or in the heaven is hidden from Allah he it is who shapes you in the wombs as he pleases there is no God but he the mighty the wise he it is who has revealed the book to thee some of its verses are decisive they are the basis of the book and others are allegorical Then those in whose heart is a perversity follow the part of it which is allegorical, seeking to mislead and seeking to give it their own interpretation. And none knows its interpretation save Allah and those firmly rooted in knowledge. They say, we believe in it. It is all from our Lord and none mine except men of understanding. Our Lord, make not our hearts to deviate after thou hast guided us. And grant us mercy from thee. Surely thou art the most liberal giver. Our Lord, surely thou art the gatherer of men on a day about which there is no doubt. Surely Allah will not fail in his promise. Those who disbelieve, neither their wealth nor their children will avail them aught against Allah. And they will be fuel for fire. As was the case of the people of Pharaoh and those before them, they rejected our messages. So Allah destroyed them on account of their sin, and Allah is severe in requiting evil. Say to those who disbelieve, You shall be vanquished and driven together to hell, and evil is the resting place. Indeed, there was a sign for you in the two hosts, which met together in encounter, one party fighting in the way of Allah, 
and the other disbelieving, whom they saw twice as many as themselves, with the sight of the eye. And Allah strengthened with his aid whom he pleases. There is a lesson in this for those who have eyes. Fair seeming to men is made the love of desires, of women and sons, and hoarded treasures of gold and silver, and well-bred horses and cattle and tilth. This is the provision of the life of this world, and Allah with him is the good goal of life. Say, shall I tell you of that what is better than these? For those who guard against evil are gardens with their Lord, in which rivers flow to abide in them, in pure companions, and Allah's goodly pleasure. And Allah is seer of the servants. Those who say, Our Lord, we believe, so forgive our sins and save us from the chastisement of the fire. The patient and the truthful and the obedient and those who spend and those who ask divine protection in the morning times. Allah bears witness that there is no God but he and so do the angels and those possessed of knowledge. Maintaining justice, there is no God but he, the mighty, the wise. Surely the true religion with Allah is Islam. And those who were given the book differed only after knowledge had come to them, out of envy among themselves. And whosoever disbelieves in the messages of Allah, Allah indeed is quick at reckoning. But if they dispute with thee, say, I submit myself entirely to Allah, and so does he who follows me. And say to those who have been given the book and the unlearned people, do you submit yourselves? If they submit, then indeed they follow the right way. And if they turn back, thy duty is only to deliver the message, and the law is seer of the servants. Those who disbelieve in the messages of Allah and would slay the prophets unjustly and slay those among men who enjoin justice announce to them a painful chastisement. Those are they whose works will be of no avail in this world and in the hereafter they will have no helpers. Hast thou not seen those who are given a portion of the book? They are invited to the book of Allah that it may decide between them. Then a party of them turn back and they withdraw. This is because they say, The fire shall not touch us but for a few days, and that which they forge deceives them regarding their religion. Then how will it be when we gather them together on a day about which there is no doubt? And every soul shall be fully paid what it has earned, and they shall not be wronged. Say, O Allah, owner of the kingdom, thou givest the kingdom to whom thou pleasest, and thou takest away the kingdom from whom thou pleasest, and thou exaltest whom thou pleasest, and thou abased whom thou pleasest. In thine hand is the good, surely thou art possessor of power over all things. Thou makest the night to pass into the day, thou makest the day to pass into the night, and thou bringest forth the living from the dead, and thou bringest forth the dead from the living, and thou givest sustenance to whom thou pleasest without measure. Let not the believers take disbelievers for friends rather than believers, and whoever does this has no connection with Allah, except that you guard yourselves against them, guarding carefully. And Allah cautions you against his retribution, and to Allah is the eventual coming. Say whether you hide what is in your hearts or manifest it, Allah knows it, and he knows whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth, and Allah is possessor of power over all things. On the day when every soul will find present that which it has done of good and that which it has done of evil, it will wish that between it and that evil that there were a long distance, and Allah cautions you against his retribution, and Allah is compassionate to the servants. Say, if you love Allah, follow me. Allah will love you and grant you protection from your sins, and Allah is forgiving, merciful. Say, obey Allah and the messenger, but if they turn back, Allah surely loves not the disbelievers. Truly Allah chose Adam and Noah and the descendants of Abraham and the descendants of Amran above the nations, offspring one of the other, and Allah is hearing, knowing. When a woman of Amram said, My Lord, I vow to thee what is in my womb to be devoted to thy service, so accept it from me, surely thou, only thou, are the hearing, the knowing. So when she brought it forth, she said, My Lord, I have brought forth a female, and Allah knew best what she brought forth, and the male is not like the female, and I have named it Mary, 
and I command her and her offspring into thy protection from the accursed devil. So her Lord accepted her with a goodly acceptance and made her grow up a goodly growing and gave her into the charge of Zacharias. When Zacharias entered the sanctuary to see her, he found food with her. He said, O Mary, whence cometh this to thee? She said, It is from Allah. Surely Allah gives to whom he pleases without measure. There did Zacharias pray to his Lord. He said, My Lord, grant me from thee goodly offspring. Surely thou art the hearer of prayer. So the angels called to him as he stood praying in the sanctuary. Allah gives thee good news of John, verifying a word from Allah, and an honorable and chaste and a prophet from among the good ones. He said, My Lord, how can I have a son when old age has already come upon me and my wife is barren? He said, Even thus does Allah do what he pleases. He said, My Lord, appoint a sign for me. He said, said he, the sign is that thou speak not to men for three days, except by signs, and remember thy Lord much, and glorify him in the evening and early morning. And when the angel said, O Mary, surely Allah has chosen thee, and purified thee, and chosen thee above the women of the world. O Mary, be obedient to thy Lord, and humble thyself, and bow down with those who bow. This is of the tidings of things unseen which we reveal to thee. And thou was not with them when they cast their pins to decide which of them should have Mary in his charge. And thou was not with them when they contended one with another. When the angel said, O Mary, surely Allah gives thee good news with the word from him of one whose name is the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, worthy of regard in this world and the hereafter, and of those who are drawn nigh to Allah. He will speak to the people when in the cradle and when of old age, and he will be one of the good ones. She said, My Lord, how can I have a son? And man has not yet touched me. He said, Even so, Allah creates what he pleases. When he decrees a matter, he only says to it, Be, and it is. And he will teach him the book and the wisdom and the Torah and the gospel. And make him a messenger to the children of Israel, saying, I have come to you with a sign from your Lord, that I determined for you out of dust the form of a bird. Then I breathe into it and it becomes a bird with Allah's permission. And I heal the blind and the leprous and bring the dead to life with Allah's permission. And I inform you of what you should eat and what you should store in your houses. Surely there is a sign in this for you if you are believers. And I am a verifier of that which is before me of the Torah. And I allow you part of that which was forbidden to you. And I have come to you with a sign from your Lord. So keep your duty to Allah and obey me. Surely Allah is my Lord and your Lord. So serve him. This is the right path. But when Jesus perceived disbelief on their part, he said, Who will be my helpers in Allah's way? The disciples said, We are Allah's helpers. We believe in Allah and bear thy witness that we are submitting ones. Our Lord, we believe in that which thou hast revealed, and we follow the messenger. So write us down with those who bear witness. And the Jews planned, and Allah also planned, and Allah is the best of planners. When Allah said, O Jesus, I will cause thee to die, and exalt thee in my presence, and clear thee of those who disbelieve, and make those who follow thee above those who disbelieve to the day of resurrection. Then to me is your return, so I shall decide between you concerning that wherein you differ. Then as to those who disbelieve, I shall chastise them with a severe chastisement in this world and the hereafter, and they will have no helpers. As to those who believe and do good deeds, he will pay them fully their rewards, and Allah loves not the unjust. This we recite to thee of the messengers of the reminder full of wisdom, the likeness of Jesus, what the law is truly as the likeness of Adam. He created him from dust, then said to him, Be, and he was. This is the truth from thy Lord, so be not of the disputers. Whoever then disputes with thee in this matter, after the knowledge that has come to thee, say, Come, let us call our sons and your sons, and our women and your women, and our people and your people, then let us be earnest in prayer, 
and invoke the curse of Allah on the liars. Surely this is the true account, and there is no God but Allah, and Allah, he is surely the might of the wise. But if they turn away, then surely Allah knows not the mischief makers. Say, O people of the book, come to an equitable word between us and you, that we shall serve none but Allah, and that we should associate aught with him, and that some of us shall not take others for lords besides Allah. But if they turn away, then say, bear witness, we are Muslims. O people of the book, why do you dispute about Abraham when the Torah and the gospel were not revealed until after him? Do you not understand? Behold, you are they who disputed about that of which you had knowledge. Why then do you dispute about that which you have no knowledge? And Allah knows while you know not. Abraham was not a Jew nor a Christian, but he was an upright man, a Muslim, and he was not one of the polytheists. The nearest of the people to Abraham are surely those who follow him and this prophet and those who believe, and Allah is the friend of the believers. A party of the people of the book desire that they should lead you astray, and they lead not astray but themselves, and they perceive not. O people of the book, why do you disbelieve in the messengers of Allah while you witness their truth? O people of the book, why do you confound the truth with falsehood and hide the truth while you know? And a party of the people of the book say, Avow belief in that which has been revealed to those who believe in the first part of the day and disbelieve in the latter part of it. Perhaps they may turn back. And believe not but in him who follows your religion. Say true guidance, Allah's guidance, is that one may be given the like of what you were given, or they would prevail on you in argument before your Lord. Say grace is surely in Allah's hand. He gives it to whom he pleases, and Allah is ample given, knowing. He specially chooses for his mercy whom he pleases, and Allah is the Lord of mighty grace. And among the people of the book, there is he who... If thou entrust him with a heap of wealth, would pay it back to thee. And amongst them is he who, if thou entrust him with a dinar, would not pay it back to thee, unless thou kept on demanding it. This is because they say there is no blame on us in the matter of the unlearned people, and they forge a lie against the law while they know. Yea, whoever fulfills his promise and keeps his duty, then Allah surely loves the dutiful. Those who take a small price for the covenant of Allah and their own oath, they have no portion in the hereafter, and Allah will not speak to them, nor will he look upon them on the day of resurrection, nor will he purify them, for them is a painful chastisement. And there is certainly a party of them who lie about the book, that you may consider it to be a part of the book, while it is not a part of the book. And they say, it is from Allah, while it is not from Allah, and they forge a lie against Allah while they know. It is not meet for a mortal that Allah should give him the book and the judgment and the prophethood. Then he should say to men, Be my servants besides Allah's. But he would say, Be worshippers of the Lord, because you teach the book and because you study it. Nor would he enjoin you to take the angels and the prophets for lords. Would he enjoin you to disbelieve after you submit? And when Allah made a covenant through the prophets, certainly what I have given to you of book and wisdom, then a messenger comes to you verifying that which is with you. You shall believe in him and you shall aid him. He said, do you affirm and accept my compact in this matter? They said, we do affirm. He said, then bear witness. I too am a bearer of witness with you. Whoever then turns back after this, these are the transgressors. Seek they then other than Allah's religion, and to him submits whoever is in the heavens and earth, willingly or unwillingly. To him they will not be returned. They will be returned. Say we believe in Allah and that which is revealed to us, and that which was revealed to Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and the tribes, and that which was given to Moses and Jesus and the prophets from their Lord. We make no distinction between any of them, and to him we submit. And whoever seeks a religion other than Islam, it will not be accepted from him. And in the hereafter, 
he will be one of the losers. How shall Allah guide a people who disbelieve after their believing and after they had borne witness that this messenger was true? And clear arguments have come to them, and Allah guides not the unjust people. As for these, the reward is on them is the curse of Allah and the angels and of men altogether. Abiding therein, their chastisement shall not be lightened, nor shall they be respited. Except those who repent after that and amend, for surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. Those who disbelieve after their believing, then increase in disbelief. Their repentance is not accepted, and these are they that go astray. Those who disbelieve and die while they are disbelievers, the earth full of gold will not be accepted from one of them, though he should offer it as ransom. These it is for whom a painful chastisement, and they shall have no helpers. That concludes the reading of part three.